In the previous video to this, I set you a few questions to look at the medians of triangles and calculating them. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go over these questions with you, show you the solutions and show you how to work out the answers. Quick refresher for you though in the questions that were asked. I want you to find the medians AC, AB and BC of the triangle below. So I want you to find the medians of each of those sides. Let's have a look. So we'll start with the side AC. So I want the median of this side of the triangle. So the one, the median which goes to the middle point of the triangle there, and it goes to that point from the point B. So it's the point B right to that midpoint there. What I need to remember for the equation of the line is two points so I can calculate the gradient. Now we know this is the median, so to get the median, what I have to do is calculate the midpoint of the line there, where it intersects, and then I can use that in point B to calculate all the other relevant information. So first thing I need to do is find the midpoint. So the midpoint of AC is negative 1 plus 7 divided by 2, and 12 plus negative 2 divided by 2. So negative 1 plus 7 is 6 divided by 2, and I get 3. 12 plus negative 2 is 10, divide that by 2, and you get 5. So there's my midpoint there. Now to get the median from B to that point, let's call that point M, what I need to do is get the gradient of BM, and then use that in the equation. So gradient of BM, we use the exact same formula as we did before. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this case, it would be 5, take away negative 5, over 3, take away negative 2. 5 minus minus 5, minus minus becomes a plus, so it's 10. 3 minus minus 2, again, same rule, minus minus becomes a plus, over 5, that gives me a gradient of 2. Now I can use either of these two points, as we showed in the theory video, to get the equation of the line, and I'll get the same one. Pick the one which is easiest for you, and work it through. I'm going to pick the point M, so I'm going to say fine, so that's y minus 5 equals 2, bracket x minus 3. And then it's just a case of multiplying this all out and simplifying it. So y minus 5 is 2x minus 6. From that, I could say the equation of the median is y equals 2x, add 5 to both sides, minus 1. There you go. That's me got the median AC. The median of AC. Second one that I wanted to calculate was the median of the line AB. So the median that goes to there from the point C. So that line there. Again, I need to calculate the midpoint. Let's call it M. Then I need to use that to get the gradient. And then from there, I can get all the other bits of information and plug them together. So, midpoint M. Same as before, add the two parts together. So in this case, negative 1 plus negative 2, and then half it. And then the second part is 12, take away negative 5, plus negative 5, sorry, divided by 2. So negative 1 plus negative 2, well, that's plus minus becomes a minus. So negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, divided by 2. My x part is negative 3 over 2. And for the y part, 12 plus negative 5, so plus minus becomes a minus. 12 take away 5 is 7. 7 over 2 is my y coordinate. So that's my coordinate for my point M. So I know it would be after the gradient of MC, and I'd just use the exact same formula. So in this case, I'd get 7 over 2, take away negative 2, divided by negative 3 over 2, take away 7. So simplify top and bottom, and then divide the whole thing together. So 7 over 2, take away negative 2, minus minus becomes a plus. So it's 7 over 2, plus 2, write the 2 as 4 over 2, and we get 11 over 2 on the top. And that's going to be divided by negative 3 over 2, take away 7. Well, this 7 I'd write as 14 over 2. So it's negative 3 over 2, take away 14 over 2. Negative 17 over 2. 11 over 2 divided by negative 17 over 2 can simplify down and give me negative 11 over 17. So that there's my gradient of the median. It's then plugging the whole thing together and working out. Again, same rule applies. I could use either of these two points to get my equation of my line. Pick the one which works out the easiest for you. So in this case, I'm going to go with C because it's got no fractional parts to it. So in that case, it's y minus b. So y take away negative 2 equals negative 11 over 17 bracket x minus 7. And again, with the equation of the straight line, the two variations we can write it. y equals mx plus c or ax plus by plus c equals 0. Either of them are fine. So we start by simplifying things out. So I get y plus 2. It was negative 11 over 17, 
bracket x minus 7, so 17y plus 34 equals negative 11x plus 77. Stick it all onto one side, that would be the better form to use in this case at least. And I'd get 17y plus 11x take away, because it's 34, take away 77, and that would give me negative 43. And that equals 0. So there you go, that's the equation of the line in this case. Not quite as simple as the one before, but still, equation of a straight line exactly the way we want it. Last median I wanted was the median of the line BC. So the median that went there, the midpoint of that line from the side A. So the straight line that looks something like that. Again, same things apply. We need the midpoint, M, of the line. We then need the gradient. We can then plug it all together. So we start with the midpoint M. And in this case, it's negative 2 plus 7 over 2, comma, negative 5 plus negative 2 over 2. So negative 2 plus 7, that's 5. Divide that by 2, and I get 5 over 2. Negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 5 minus 2, so it's negative 7. And then divide it by 2, and you get negative 7 over 2. So I've got my midpoint M. I then want the gradient of the line from A to M. So in this case, I'm going to do 12, take away negative 7 over 2, divided by negative 1, take away 5 over 2. Again, there's fractions in here, but I've never said that we can't get them. These sort of things will pop up at higher. It's then just how we handle them. So 12, take away negative 7 over 2. It's the same as 12 plus 7 over 2. I'd write the 12 as 24 over 2. So 24 plus 7 gives me 31 over 2 for the top. And negative 1, take away 5 over 2. That simplifies down to negative 7 over 2. Take this, multiply it all about, and you get negative 31 over 7. Just leave it as an improper fraction for this sort of one. This will come in much more handy when we're wor working out the y minus b part. So we've got the gradient. We can now plug it all together. So we want to use the y minus b equals mx minus a in the simplest of the two points. In this case, I'm going to work with a. So I'd have y minus 12 equals m, so negative 31 over 7, bracket x minus a, which would give you x plus 1 because it's minus minus. It's then a case of multiplying and simplifying things down. So I'd get, 70, I'd get 7y, sorry, take away 84, it goes negative 31x minus 31, and stick it all on the same side. So 7y plus 31x, negative 84 plus 31 gives me negative 53 equals 0. So there you go, there's the equation to the line of the median for that third one. So as I've said, it's not always going to be straightforward, nice little numbers. There will be fractions and bits coming into play, but at, that, at this level, that's to be expected. Hope that went well, and I'll see you in class.